look at this beautiful Kubota and actually as it's sitting here right now it is lying to you there's no such thing as a 1550 I'll explain why Welcome to another budget and leggy video. Yes, we have this wonderful Kabuta L1550. Technically, it's a 1500. This is a two cylinder, 18 horsepower little mini tractor, which is just awesome. Uh, it's got a four speed box, four speed PTO, and a two speed axle. So, you've got lots of gears, lots of different torques, lots of different settings. But technically, there is only a 1550, but this is a bit of marketing wank, as you know, as they do. Slightly change things to make it look better than, say, another one, but technically, it's actually the same. There's maybe a few variants, but it's, it's a, essentially a 1500. We're not sure exactly the year, around 1974, 1976. I did show on my first ever video when I was actually uh, telling you what I was doing, or videos coming up. We have original <laughs> fuses, which is just different thicknesses of wire coiled round <laughs> two screws. So, we've got a few issues with this. Original tyres, original paint. Um, the customer's got, obviously, a fairly big garden. And this is just perfect, because you literally anything you can put on the back of this, it will run. You know, little ploughs. This, this mirror is actually from a golf course. We've got issues with the mirror. This bearing is completely shot and gone. Uh, the hydraulics are stopped working in the tractor, and I've got to fix the wheels and everything because it just goes too low. So I'm welding and making other brackets to, to lift this up so it doesn't drag across the floor so much. This is his lift that he's using at the minute. Uh, temporary, temporary lift to lift it up and down. But there's a few things with this. It's kind of hard to start. Now, the really cool thing is, you just see in here, hopefully you can see a little spring. I'll show you once we start it. That actually glows when the heater plugs are on because this, this takes a while to start. It's even got a decompression lever to make it start a lot easier. So, we've also got an oil leak. Looks like it's coming from the engine. Just the oil over there. So I've got to check the heater plugs, make sure they're okay. We're going to have to see if we can find some sort of service kit for this. Uh, figure out where the oil leak is coming from. I just think it's the sump, which should be a fairly easy fix. But we've also got to find out why the... Why the hydraulics aren't working. We've even got a speed control for the PTO fast and slow um, but yeah it's just not working now when I pull out this I can smell gear oil it's quite a bad whiff of gear oil the customer did tell me when it stopped working he rang a friend of his and he said it's not working what should I do and he says what oil have you got with you he said I've just got normal 1540 engine oil for his old cars he said, stick that in, see if that helps. No, I don't think it's done it any favours whatsoever. But we now need to find out exactly what oil goes into this. I can smell gear oil, or is it hydraulic oil? I actually don't know, because I've never ever seen one of these before. I've never worked on them, never seen one. All I know is, I want it. I want it, because it's just cool. So I've got to do a bit of research, see if I can figure out exactly what goes into it. Um, now again, some tractors, you know, depending on you know modern tractors and stuff, you can just put engine oil in everything and it all works and stuff like that, or gear oil, hydraulic oil, you know, it just depends on the, on the tractor. But we do have two separate things here, engine oil and hydraulic. And just like any typical old tractor, uh, we have <laughs> a little bit of play in the wheel <laughs> what's that so let's go so from here nearly a full turn <laughs> nearly a full turn before the wheels even move um so yeah we're going to figure out 
Uh, engine serviced. It looks to be like an engine leak to me because when the tractor was parked there, it looks to be under the engine. But again, we'll figure that out. We need to figure out um, the story. Now, what does look fairly obvious to me is right here. Let's get the torch. Right here, we have what looks to be like a filter. Now, to me, that looks to be like a filter for the hydraulics. So I'm going to take that off and I'm hoping to find some sort of um, some sort of gauze filter in there, like a metal gauze filter. And that should tell us what the story is with that. Um, I'm just trying to find the there's no there's no obvious sign of a level anywhere um it could be that bolt there looking at it i could just be undoing that bolt and pouring oil in until the oil comes out of there that could be a level there's no dipstick that i can see when i put or when i take this off there's no obvious signs of any levels there um and it does look really really bad i can see oil right at the bottom but it looks really really bad so just got to figure out a couple of things, what oil it takes, where the level is, and then we can change all that and we can see, clean out the filter and see if we've got hydraulics working. Right, okay, after a bit of Googling, a bit of messing, we've got a lot more information about this now. I've managed to get the number off the fuel filter, which is good. Um, the original oil in this was uh, Kabuta UDT oil, but there is an equivalent now out there, which is 3098 Valvoline hydraulic oil, which is the equivalent of what we need for this. I've also, I just quickly taken out one of the heat plugs, I'll show you that in a minute, but what I have noticed in this, which you do have to be kind of careful, um, we have under here, you can see, hopefully you can see this, we have the drain plug here, but we've also got two drain plugs but for the rear uh, diff and axles because they're actually lower than this drain plug here. So we have to actually, you know, do at least three drain plugs. Now I can't see any more, but there's at least three, but there could possibly be more. I am confident enough that this here is my um, filter. I've also managed to find this, which looks to be like the level for the oil. I was looking at that, but I was just thinking that looks a bit too big. That looks, that looks about right. And then I decided to take out the heater plug because I just wanted to check it. Came out lovely, so easy. On a modern car, oh, press on button. You have to be careful that your heater plug lights up in a special way. Because you're um, only heating up for say five or six seconds, this you have to preheat for like 50 seconds. But what you're looking for is you're looking for the heater plug to glow at the top and then come down on a modern car. If it glows at the bottom and comes up on a modern car, it won't be hot enough. This doesn't really matter, to be honest, because you're preheating it for so long anyway. These are the original plugs. Well, this guy's had this tractor for over 30 years. He's never changed them, so they're at least 30 years old, um, maybe more. Maybe they're the original ones. But when I put this on here, I wasn't expecting this. Look at that glows from the top down but it actually works and it works well now it does take a while to heat again compared to a modern a modern one but because you i think he actually preheats this for 50 seconds he tries to start if it doesn't start instantly he stops and preheats it again so you know it gets a lot of heat the fact that it maybe takes 10 15 seconds to actually turn on i'm not worried about that because uh the preheats for such a long time anyway um so let me just put that there, turn that off, 
Let's just see if the other one comes out as easy. Now it's on camera. Is it going to be camera shy? Here we go. Again, imagine if that was an opal. <laughs> After a few years you struggle with an opal. Now look at this one. That's a prime example. If that was in a car, it'd be bad. That heated from the bottom up. No good for a car because for the for the for the preheat time you do on a car, three or four seconds, it wouldn't have heated up where it needed to be properly. But for this, I'm not worried about it. But this one is slightly worse than the other one. Um, again, we're going to see if we can get heater plugs because there's no harm. But if that was in a car. I'd be changing it. So even though we did the quick test with the um, test light to see if it wasn't short or anything, it still gives you a good indication to actually test them properly. Um, there's loads of different ways you can test them, but I like taking them out, especially when they're as easy as this. Now, if they're difficult, okay, fair enough. But when they're as easy as this, to take them out and to physically see it glow, you might as well. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to ring around a few tractor places, see what oil we can get, see what filters we can get, see if we can actually get anything for this. The engine diesel filter really shouldn't be an issue because that's going to be kind of a common thing. I guarantee they still use that particular filter on certain things today. Um, it might not be on tractors. It could be on, you know, machinery. It could be on, you know, just, just any kind of, you know, machinery. I guarantee they're going to use it. The gauze inside there the filter that's going to be a different story but hopefully we can clean that engine diesel filter sorry engine oil filter again hopefully shouldn't be a big deal engine oil that shouldn't be a big deal um and hopefully we can get the equivalent of that valvoline stuff or the equivalent of something else that's going to work in this um it smells like gear oil to me so maybe that's just the issue that, and there's, and there's engine oil in it too, which again isn't obviously right. So I would really like to flush that somehow if I could. I wonder if I should maybe try and get some sort of flush in there and run this tractor. That's what we'll, that's what we'll do, because I'd, I'd just be happier if I can get some sort of flush in there before we do anything else. 1971 Mercedes. 1974 imp kind of struggling to get parts for it 40 50 odd year old for 40 odd year old tractor kabuta went down to the kabuta dealer just down the road and they had most bits in stock we've got a genuine fuel filter genuine oil filter now obviously good thing about tractors is they must be still using these on you know some of their vehicles still it kind of you know is obvious even had the original oil filter for the uh for for the hydraulic system now he did say there's two different types and i don't think unfortunately we've got the right type now we can get the other type um but i think from what i can see from what we've got i think we've got a spring the sh from from what I from what I'm used to with seeing the type of bowl that's on this housing, I have a feeling it's a spring and this just pulls out. So I have a feeling this is the wrong one. Um, but he can get the correct one for us. But we 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 took this one just in case it's right. I think it's wrong, but just in case uh, we've got hydraulic fluid. I'll just show you that in a second. As long as we don't damage it, we can take it back. 
It's only 15 euros. There's the part numbers when I'm playing along at home. Now, they can actually get the correct Kubota UDT oil for this, but they, they haven't got any in stock at the minute, and we want to see if there's an issue with this. So, we've got the equivalent that they use. They are getting the other stuff in, which we are going to eventually swap in the next few weeks, but we just want to see. And the other good stuff about this, this is the stuff we're using. This is the equivalent... This is what we're going to use. We're going to have no issues with it. But what this is going to do for us actually takes about 12 litres of oil. We were told around 20, but it's actually 12. And what this new oil is going to do for us, it's, also, it's going to do a couple of things. One, it's going to kind of clean everything because I can only remove so much oil. It really is crappy in there. I know people say, oh, put diesel in there, put petrol in there. I'm not going to do anything like that because he's just asking for trouble. So we're going to put this fresh oil in. We've only got 10 litres, so we're going to be about 2 litres short. Let this run through for a few weeks. Once they have the proper oil in, we're then going to drain the system. We're also going to replace the filter because they're going to have the filter by then. And, you know, so this, this oil essentially is going to clean everything for us. What I've got to do is I've got to start this now. I've put the heater plugs back in. They can get the heater plugs. They're 50 euros each. So we're going to leave the heat plugs for the minute because they are working. But they can get them. So basically there's nothing they can't really get for this, which is just awesome. We've got parts for engine service, but I don't think we're going to get around to that this, uh, this time. I just want to get this started, take it for a drive, heat up the gearbox, the brakes and everything, all the oil system at the back before I drain it. Then there's three drain plugs the filter and then we're good to go right what i've also quick oh, quickly done is i've tested the power going to this and it it works so we know we know the heater plugs work and we know the power going to it works it's got my jump pack on it and i'm going to attempt to start this now i think i know the procedure we will soon find out i got to heat up for about 50 seconds and then pull the decompression lever and try and start it. And it should start quite quickly. If it doesn't, I have to stop and do it again. I'm driving me tractor! I'm just trying to get the fluid warm in the uh, gearbox. So I'm driving around this garden. I can hear the back whining, it's raining, we're in Ireland, the steering is terrible, but I'm used to that in a tractor. Put a bit more throttle on. Get everything heated up. Hey! I'm a farmer who are book spreader. <laughs> We're sucking diesel now! Woohoo! Not full speed, but you know, I'm getting absolutely stoked. I think that's going to be good enough for what we need. Alright, just as well. Me old 4K camera's waterproof. Right, so I'm going to undo that there now, and like I said, I think we've got the wrong, or maybe not. Um, normally, now again, normally, the ones with the springs have like a dome shape on them. This one's kind of flat, so maybe, maybe we have the right filter and not the uh, the one we've off the one the filter we've got screws in some of them just push in uh, but when they push in this here is normally domed on the machines i've worked in anyway like i said i've never worked on this before um, and there's a little spring there to keep to keep the filter in but normally when it's flat like this they might be screwed in they feel like 12 mil so let's get that off right was i right with the 12 mil thing Oh, I was. Let's hope. 
that we've got the right filter. If not, we can clean it. And let's hope it's really bad. That's another thing I'm hoping for. I'm hoping this filter is just completely gunged up for crap. Because then obviously... Can I... Move that out of the way. I'm going to have to get this in. There we go. Ah! Get an extent. Hopefully this is not too long now. There we go. There we go. You got me bucket underneath, Delilah. Mm, that fluid looks kind of clean so far. That's not a not a good sign because it means we might have issues with the pump or the valves if this filter isn't really really bad uh, we do have the spring so we do have the wrong filter filter we have is wrong Hmm, like I said, normally they're kind of domed, normally. Well, that does look quite bad now, to be fair. There's a lot of crap in that. Pleased about that. Oh, that filter is wedged in there. Wedged. It's maybe a good sign, though. Can we get this out? There we go. Oh, she's bad. She is bad, but I'm excited about that. I really am. Oh, that's bad. That is bad. That is. And that oil is terrible too. Oh, oh that's awesome. That's awesome. Look how bad that oil is. No. We have to be careful because this container isn't very big. God, there's water and everything in that oil. I have to shove this in if that overflows. Stop. You're not going to stop, are you? Nope. Right, I need to put that back. And of course, you won't go back. <laughs> Look at the state of this oil. But like I said, that's really good that it's that bad. Let me show you this. Let me show you this. Look at that. That's bad, but that's good. Does that make sense? Let me just drain off this container so I can use it again. It's so bad. But like I said, the fact that it's so bad is so good for us because um, it means... Now, if you drain your oil off first, you won't have all this oil coming out here. But we've got three oil plugs to drain out. Um, even after I do this. But if you drain them off first, obviously you won't get... Nowhere near as much oil coming out. Look at the state of that filter. Now technically we shouldn't fill this again unless this has been overfilled because it takes 12 litres and it's low. I think it's low. We're going to be close to filling this again, aren't we? Have to stop it there again. I'm running out of containers. 
to put the oil in. This is all not going to fit in there. Look at it. <laughs> but like I said, it's a bloody, 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 bloody good thing. Wow, look at that. That's water. That's God knows what. Engine oil. Because he did admit to me he put engine oil in because someone told him to. Um, plus some kind of hydraulic oil and God knows what else has been put in this over the years. Make sure we don't overflow this can. Careful now, you're getting close. I don't have any more, so I'm hoping that there's going to be enough room in this to not overflow and allow me to clean this filter. We'll know in a few minutes. It's not looking promising. Nope, I can tell it's not going to be enough. And we're just going to come to a point where we're going to struggle to even get in to pull that out. Alright, I need to find something else. Now, there's conflicting reports. The main dealer told us 12 litres. I have taken out a lot more than 12 litres. And when I was looking down there, if this is the, um, if this is the correct uh, fill plug, the oil was more or less kind of, you know, it did seem really low on here. So I think it is the 20 litres, not the 10 litres. We've been told it was 20 litres, um, but the main dealer said 12 but I think it's a lot more than 12, just from the amount I've taken out. And like I said, I didn't see it overflowing here. When I look down, the oil level looks to be definitely in between here. So it could be slightly too much, but not by, you know, not by 10 litres too much. So, yeah, I think it is the 20 litres. Just let that finish draining. And we will clean this filter. Oh, I've just seen that. That's not right. It springs back, but... No, it really springs back. Yeah, look. Big difference. That's not springing back now. Boom! The little thing fixed. Right, I was just looking at this, and it does say Kubota UDT. Um, but I think what the guy was letting, telling us is he's getting the genuine stuff. This is not the genuine stuff from the factory, but I know it's still going to be 100% fine. But once we get the other stuff, we're just going to be using this to clean the inside of it, basically, and then get the other stuff he has, and then put it in as like a final thing. Right, so I'm going to attempt to clean this as best I can. actually see what it's supposed to look like. Oh, she's bad, boy. Look at the state of it. It's in good nick, though, in the sense of... Um, it doesn't seem to be ripped or torn, I think. But obviously, it's really bad. It's starting to look like a mesh filter again. I can see one little bit of light through it. <laughs> no point in me filming all this. It's just literally soaking it. 
just using petrol at the minute. Just soaking it in this, scrubbing it, soaking it, scrubbing it, soaking it until I get it clean. Oh. We'll let it soak. Once I finish that, I'll uh, turn the camera back on. Right, so I've undone the actual sun plug there. I've just got to do the two axle ones now. You can just see one right there and the one on the far side because the axles stick down further than the actual sump so there's still going to be a few litres in there. So once I've done that, I've got it all drained off. Get the gauze cleaned, we'll be good to start filling it back up. You see, this is what I meant about it lying to in the beginning. Even the official plate says 1500, not 50. Not 1550. Right, I've taken the back grass box off, or the back mower, should I say, because um, I've got to do a lot of work to that. I don't know if I'm going to film that, because I don't know if people are going to be interested in just putting wheels and stuff on it. But let's see how much oil comes out of these discs, because as you can see, they, they go a lot lower, about three inches lower than the actual sump plug, or the actual plug we've just taken out for the gearbox. Not a lot, I, thought, I was expecting a bit more of a flow, but still, it's still going to be a good few litres that comes out of there, which we obviously want out, so there's one on both sides, so three, three sump plugs essentially for this. Right, it's taken a lot of cleaning, but we're getting there now. You're never going to be able to get it 100%, but I find tapping it like that with the screwdriver was really, really help, help, hella helping. It was bringing all the crap up. Because there's like two or three messy mesh, it's just wound up essentially. So it's not just one mesh, it's actually been wound around. So all the little bits of crap get caught in everything. But if you can see, hopefully the camera's showing that. Look at that. That is like 95%. 98% absolutely look at that really really good compared to what it was but it's taken a long time to get to that point don't ask me what that was <laughs> I don't know so just been cleaning with a toothbrush I put it in really hot soapy water as well try and free up some of the crap as you can see now we're back in petrol and look how clean the petrol is compared to what it was To get, I've managed to get, well, most of that anyway, with all the drain plugs from the gearbox, from the PTO, from the diff, from everything. Um, and there's definitely more than 10 litres. So either it was overfilled, which I doubt it, or it is close to 20 litres of oil that goes into this. We're not going to find out today, unfortunately. It'll be a few seconds for you. It's going to be a few weeks because I haven't got enough oil with me. I will put the 10 litres in and take that drain plug out and just to see, but I really don't think it's going to. If it does, we'll try the hydraulics, but I don't think it's going to, unfortunately. And then once we get more oil, we'll put it in and we'll see if that has fixed it. Right, I've got it as clean as I possibly can. Um... So much oil. So hopefully we've done enough. There's a spring on the O-ring to clean all this. 
Everything looks good. Got a lot of crap in there. I get this completely clean. No point doing all that hard work cleaning and then putting this back in. And then, in case of filling it with oil. What's happened to the spring? What have I done with that? There it is. So that's all I need. Bloody lost the spring. Yeah. This might be a bit awkward to get back. Because of the spring. There's not any bit of tension on them to stop the filter from moving. Wasn't too bad. This is a holder for the wire as well as a bolt. Well, technically, it's not a bolt, it's actually a screw. If you want to be technical about it. Good. It's a 12 now. I don't have to go and change. Now, as far as I know, that is a fill level. There's no more that I can see that is. And like I said, if it is higher, that means it's going to take like 30 odd litres, but no. Um, because from what I can remember, I think I could kind of see it around here, and I took out 20 litres. So. I think, I think that is it. There is no other signs of anything anywhere that is uh, anything remotely like a level plug. That's it. So I'm going to start filling up, and then we're going to see. Nope, nothing coming out yet. Let's see if we can see down it. I can and I can't. Let me get a different torch. No, I can't see. I can't even see the oil. So, oh, hold on. No, I can. I can. Um, and I would say... Just below this second hump. Hold on. Yep, right. Ah, the camera. Camera bloody wire. Well, actually, it's just below this second hump here. So, 
we might be all right. I'm gonna have to start this and check it because that's actually really close. So maybe it was completely overflowing, overfilled before. I can see the oil just underneath here, which is just on the limit of being coming through here. So, don't have to wait two weeks to find out what's going on with it. I'm excited. Right, I think I know how to start this. I'm not 100%. Right. Neutral. So, just resting on it. Turn the ignition on. Is that the... No, that's the start. You'll see the heater plug light glow in a second. There you go, you can just see it glowing. This is the decompression switch. I haven't got my jump pack on, I don't know how good the battery is. it's bittersweet because I was kind of hoping it was broke because I wanted to buy this and I'd get it cheap if it was broke but now it's fixed I can't get it so it's bittersweet right I've just told the customer there's some really 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 bad news and he was looking at me and I said yeah unfortunately it's working and he just started laughing um, because he was thinking maybe he was selling it if it wasn't working. But anyway, look, it's working and it's perfect. That oil hasn't been changed in at least 25 years. He's had it for 25 years. It's never been changed. I took a lot more than the 12 litres out of it. It looks like it's going to maybe take... Well, we're getting another 5 litres of the fluid um, because it, it's quite close to that hole. But even though it's only about half an inch away from the hole, there's a lot of oil still to be filled. So it could still take, you know, the 5 litres. I don't know. We'll find out in the next couple of weeks, a few seconds for you. Um, I've now got to finish the mirror. I've got to put new bearings on it, new belts on it, weld stuff on it to make it work a lot easier for him, the mirror that was on the back. But as you can see, it lifts and it lifts perfectly. So, that's gonna be it for today. And then we'll finish it off on either another video or I'll put them all together. I'm not sure yet. Depends how long this video was. But there we go. So as always, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Don't forget, links up here, links down below. But most importantly, don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one. Sweet.